Marina, firstly, você está linda hoje. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> Standing here today, I just want to express how much I love you. And flip, you look beautiful. When you walked up there, this is not in my notes. When you walked up there, I honestly wanted to cry. I had to keep it back. And I'm going to start crying if I start now. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, the first time Nini and I met was at a place called Bread and Butter. It was a restaurant um, where my family and I returned to. And uh, yeah, Nini came walking quickly past me in her school clothes and straight into the, um, they had a shop and uh, she went straight into their changing room. And she quickly got changed and into a beautiful outfit. And when I saw that, I knew there was something unique about you and I had to approach you. Now Marina, since that day, we've been on a roller coaster. We can say we've had our ups and downs as well as our challenges. However, standing here eight years later, since that day, I can say the overall happiness, companionship, support and love we give one another has definitely been worth the ride. Now when I proposed in August last year, I know a lot of the guys here would say, yes, it was about time. But honestly, what I must tell you is standing that day in all those beautiful flowers was a really special day for me. Because knowing that you allowed me to keep the most beautiful flower of them all, I got to keep you. <laughs> so as we continue with this roller coaster, I'm just going to say after marriage, things won't be easy and everything in life won't fall in place. However, while standing in front of our family and friends today, what I can promise is I will continue to be your personal cameraman, your best karaoke and dance partner. I will continue to bend down so that you don't look short in photos. And I will try and remain patient while you take forever to do your makeup when you don't even need it because you're already so beautiful. All jokes aside, I just want you to know that I will be your rock through tough times. I will take care of you and protect you. I'll be your best friend and your husband. I'll continue to thank God daily for giving me such a beautiful person as you. I'll be fully committed to us. I'll provide encouragement and support for your life's journeys. And with all of this, I'm not saying that I'll be perfect, but it doesn't mean I won't try. Most importantly, I want you to know that I won't stop loving you until that last race dies. I'm looking forward to this new journey together as one. With our families and friends' support, I know we'll continue to make a very special couple. Eo te amo muntu. In the past six years, a lot of uncertainty has surrounded me about many aspects of my life. But one of the things I've never been unsure of is the love you have for me. I never doubted the love you have for me, although I might have said I did. You have stuck by my side through the best and the worst times and loved all that I am for who I am. Seeing that, that made me also certain of another thing, the love that I have for you, for who you are. It is a love that started fragile, I mean, we were so young, but it became so strong. It is a type of love that I call love and not passion. Although I'm a sucker for romances, I know that most love stories don't end with a happily ever after. Spoiler alert because they are built on passion and passion is temporary or because they are not in a love triangle with God and without God things are much harder. Dating you for eight years showed me that true love grows. It keeps growing and when it's growing from both sides it grows firm roots and then suddenly you find yourself stuck there but in a good way. I grew roots in you, you grew roots in me, we grew roots in each other. And with these roots, the wind came, the storm came, but we stood firmly and we stayed standing together. Suddenly, being with you was my favorite place to be. Suddenly, I realized that my world was not my world without you. I love my world just as is. 
suddenly I was choosing you to struggle and succeed with, to fight and make up with, to love and grow old with. And as soon as to be your wife, I will continue to choose that. I want to promise you that I'll do my best every day for you to never doubt this love that I have for you. I want to take care of you, to be loyal to you, to be a home for you. A home that you keep wanting to come back to because you feel like it's where you belong. I promise to laugh with you and cry with you. I promise to continue praying for you every day and to be a loving mother to the children that we look so forward to having one day. I promise to continue massaging you when your body is sore and press really hard on your knots until you like begging me to stop. Just because I know you feel better afterwards. And I thank you, Matthew, for accepting to be the most beautiful blessing in my life. God crossed our paths, I'm, I'm sure of that, but it was still up to us whether to stay on that path. And you chose to stay over and over again. So thank you. Thank you for staying. I love you. I've loved you for eight years, and I'll love you for 18 more.